Fiji's 50th anniversary, which is a very important year for it to Jackson Fiji is also organizing a fun walk in line. Um, we also have our bowl that we <laughs> It gives me great pleasure today to be uh, part of this occasion and the official launch of uh, Pink Toba and, uh, and the work uh, that's being done by the corporate sector, especially JAX. Uh, and to be here to be able to be part of this and actually commend the good work. Cancer is a, uh, when we studied medicine, we, we, we were told cancer is the disease of the aging. And as we uh, continue to live and we get older, and we uh, face all the environmental influences. Uh, there are obviously some cancers that uh, happen because of uh, it's familial and also some that are genetic. Then the advent of cancer becomes real and we have to be able to deal with it. We are very grateful um, that uh, there are a lot of support around the work of cancer. And first and foremost is uh, a lot of the cancer treatment in this country is done by government through the Ministry of Health and its facilities. And knowing what I know and having worked in the health system for the last 20 years, we have 80 to 90 percent of all treatment that's needed for cancer locally. Uh, this morning, one of the reasons why I came a little bit late was uh, I was with my colleagues, the surgeons, my former colleagues at the hospital in CWM, and every Wednesday morning they, dis they discuss patients who have cancer and they put their heads together in what is called a multidisciplinary team and they discuss about best practice and how they can be able to uh, treat the patient knowing what they know but on an individual basis understanding where they come from what the needs of their family are and that is where we are now have now progressed to in terms of our treatment of breast cancer and the treatment of all types of cancers and all through the main three big hospitals in Fiji CWM Lotoka and Labasa, we have a treatment of cancer. We have a medical oncologist who was trained in New Zealand and is back with us. We have surgeons who have trained in New Zealand and Australia. Recently we've had Dr. Ndele Sao, who is a trained um, an undergraduate and postgraduate in New Zealand. He's back heading one of the um, uh, cancer treatment uh, uh, protocol units at the CWM hospital. We also have chemotherapy available locally. And though we may not have radiotherapy, a lot of the cancers are amenable with surgery and with chemotherapy. We have the management of liquid cancers, and this is provided through the work of our internal medicine department. And that unit, internal medicine, is actually having a conference this Friday talking about cancers. So again, as I said earlier, knowing what I know, being in the system for the last 20 years, I want to assure us today that we have for the majority of treatment of cancers. There are areas in which we lack, but there are many countries in the world that lack in certain areas. And we have provisions in place to ensure that Fijians who need cancer treatment that we don't have locally may have the support through means, through the government allocation of overseas treatment scheme to be able to have that adequate treatment provided for them overseas. What happens when we come together and we support the work of cancer through the Fiji Cancer Society. And this is something that they will share with you later, but I'd like to share a little bit because I've worked with them over the last 20 years. Is they look at the soft parts of the, of the work around supporting the people with cancer. As you know, Fijians need, that have cancer, they need to be able to go home. And so they, they provide counseling around being able to go home and live at home. They provide support for the families. They help uh, in transporting them back to the hospital for their chemotherapy or for their next review. In some instances, the, the monies that are raised in this, uh, uh, this fundraising events are actually used to support some of the chemotherapy regimens that we may need to give to some of the patients. Because, for example, um, there may be a special chemotherapeutic agent that we may not have locally that this person will need. And that's where the support comes through Fiji Cancer Society. So the, 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 the important treatment 
the important uh, diagnostics are done in the hospital system, free of charge by the Ministry of Health and the Government of Fiji, and the support, the soft support, comes through the Fiji Cancer Society and the other organizations that are part of it, including WOWS, which does a lot of work around children. It is so important that we work together. Breast cancer, when I started doing medicine 25 years ago, it was estimated that then in the Western world there was about 1 in 12 to 1 in 15 women had breast cancer. As we speak, it's estimated 1 in 9 women in the Western world will have breast cancer. We Fijians aspire to be Western. We want to be a modern nation state. We must also realize that doing so, that our um, possibilities of developing cancer is also there. So we estimate maybe our estimate is about 1 in 15 women have a likelihood of developing breast cancer. We also have cancer in men, the prostate cancer. We have issues with cervical cancer. Before, cervical cancer was much, much more than breast cancer. But now breast cancer has over time taken cervical cancer. And we believe that cervical cancer, though it may rise, may not rise significantly as it done in the past, because we now provide immunization for our daughters which is the, human, uh, the HPV vaccination that they receive at about 13 years old. So that vaccination is protective to our young women and to prevent them, hopefully, from getting cervical cancers. But breast cancer will continue to rise. And that's a known fact because there is no immunization to prevent breast cancer. So what can we do around cancer? We need to create more and more awareness. I was asked uh, on an interview on radio yesterday and I was told, we were, you know, there are many, many Fijians that come late seeking help when they have cancer. And I said, look, the, the ratios of Fijians coming late for cancer is now dropping. Before, it was more. Now it's lesser and lesser. Why? Because we have awareness such as this. We have a, a critical mass of doctors and nurses and health professionals. We have a critical mass of organizations such as Fiji Care Society that are able to penetrate into the community and create the awareness. And the other important thing that I shared with the, um, the uh, radio announcer yesterday is that our country is a literate country. Our country is a literate country. Our students have a capacity to finish school, to enter into university, and so they're reading more and they are made more aware of the issues around cancers. And therefore, the days of when we get a lot of patients coming in with locally advanced disease is now decreasing because of awareness, and we need to create more awareness. And so I'm thankful this, uh, today for the opportunity to be here, to come and talk about cancer, to thank Jacks of Fiji. I was in the event that was held in Nandi, and I must say I was also very pleased with the support that was there. It's not only Jacks. We all have to come. We all have to be part of it. I'm so excited to see the different organizations are being represented today. And I urge you and I wish you and I hope that you will go back and ask your CEOs to take it upon themselves to also do something similar. As I said, the more awareness we have, the better it is. Thank you very much and God bless you. To support Pinktober through September and October. to the representatives from the Fiji Cancer Society for sharing with